Hey guys, welcome back to Championship Muscle. Today's topic of discussion, a continuation, old school muscle separation and conditioning. How to engage those lats to get you that V taper that everybody wants. I'm gonna show you how right after this. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant for about a minute or so, so bear with me. Very important though, it's not a bullshit rant. Whenever I'm in the gym watching people train, bad form is the first thing that catches my eye, especially when it comes to doing back work. I see guys get underneath the bar for doing bent over rows, T-bar rows, and they're putting all these plates on and they're just pulling and pulling with everything they got and not doing a damn thing to engage their lats. They're just moving weights. Strip those bars down and put on a weight that you can handle that's gonna allow you to engage your lat muscles. It's not about if I do 315 on bent over rows, I'm gonna have a back as wide as a barn. That's bullshit. I can get a back as wide as a barn doing bent over rows, doing 135 pounds because I know how to engage the lat muscles and make them do the work. Not doing the weight with my arms and doing all these repetitions, especially when it comes to dumbbell rows. I see guys grabbing the hundreds. Now there are guys that can legitimately do the hundred pounders, but I see guys grabbing them hundreds and they're pulling with everything they got, like they're starting a friggin' lawnmower. That's not how you do a dumbbell row. I'm gonna show you two important exercises that are gonna help you get that width in your back. I've touched on it in previous videos, but I'm gonna show you how to engage those lat muscles to get that V taper right after this. Follow me over to these exercises. All right, guys, we're here over by the dumbbell rack. I'm gonna do single arm dumbbell rows. This is an exercise I see people butchering all the time. Go grab a dumbbell and they'll just do this. No, absolutely not. That is not how you do this exercise. I'm gonna take a 30 pound dumbbell. I'm leaning up against the rack. I'm at a 45 degree angle. I let my arm hang down and you can see that my lat is engaged. When I pull this dumbbell up, I'm gonna pull this dumbbell into my hip and I'm gonna squeeze my lat. The whole repetition range, my lat is engaged. It never comes out of that. Every single repetition, my lat is engaged. And at the top, I squeeze it for that brief moment. Just like this. Okay. Again, this is not how you do this. And this is how everyone butchers this exercise. I saw a guy in the gym the other day with a 60 pound dumbbell doing this. I wanted to go over to him and smack him. What the hell are you doing? That's not how you do this. But for him, look at me and look at me. I got a 60 pound dumbbell. Look at me. And you're not doing, you're doing jack shit. And you look like a jackass. So that's how you do this exercise. It's very effective when you engage the lat muscle. If you don't engage your lat muscle while you're doing this, you're spinning your wheels and you're making yourself look like a jackass in the gym, slinging all this weight that you're doing absolutely nothing with. On to the next exercise. Hey guys, we are here at the assisted pull-up machine. One of my favorites. And to be quite honest with you, one of the hardest exercises for me to do because I've never been able to do pull-ups without having the assistance of a spotter. This machine right here gives me everything I need to do the pull-ups the right way. Two important factors when you're doing this exercise. The stretch when you're in the downward position to make sure your lats are getting stretched and the squeeze at the top when you're pulling yourself up. You've got to squeeze those shoulder blades together to squeeze those lats together. Very crucial. This will give your back that V taper, okay? Don't do what everyone else does. 
swinging and trying to pull themselves up. You're not using your lats. You're using your body and everything you got to pull yourself up and you're not getting anything out of the exercise. Watch how I do this assisted with weight because like I said, I can't do this by myself. I'm a 300 pound guy. Can't do unassisted um, pull-ups. So watch how I do this. Okay. All right, guys, I'm on the machine. I'm at the top. I grab my hands at the very bottom of the grips. I step into the machine, put my knees on the pad, and I come down. When I'm in this position, I am stretching my lats. As I pull up, right here, I'm squeezing my lats together. And I come down nice and controlled. There's no body mechanics. And I pull up again and squeeze. Nice and controlled. Getting that stretch, pull up and squeeze. Nice and fluid. So it looks like this. Nice and controlled. When I hit the number that I'm comfortable with, I set the weight down. <clears throat> And I kind of stretch my back out a little bit, pull my lats, get the blood flowing in there. This is a very important exercise if you want to get really wide lats. That V taper you hear me talking about, this is a very important exercise. Make sure you use the proper form. Make sure you squeeze every repetition. Do not use your body's momentum to pull yourself up. I see it all the time in the gym and it drives me crazy. What's even worse is when they attach a dumbbell or a plate around their waist and they're continuing to do that momentum to do that pull up. You're wasting your time, people. You really are. So that's my rant for today. Please like, subscribe and share this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My book is out on Amazon, Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding. I put it out last April getting five-star reviews. It's got a really good portion of my humor in a 40-year, 28-page book. Um, I'm also a product rep for Gene Pro Protein. Gene Pro is by far the best protein powder I have ever used in my 40 years in the industry. And I suggest you guys grab some and give it a try. It is worth a try. I'm type 2 diabetic. It doesn't affect my blood sugar. Use Coach P for 15% off in the discount box. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the gym. Peace out.